Hey guys, this is Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com, and it's almost Christmas time as you can see by the snowman on my table, the snowman over here. I'm in a festive mood, what can I say? But one thing that put me in a festive mood this year is I received a whole lot, and I mean like a lot, a pack, a box of straps to review from Tie Her Up. What does it say here? Camera bondage, tie her up. I've seen these straps, namely the rock and roll strap, as you can see right here on my Leica SL. I'll try to get in closer with that so you can see it. These are handmade leather straps. Uh, this one is an S customized just for the Leica SL. Beautiful braided leather. And I believe this one is in the cigar brown color. Um, but anyway, let me get to that in a second. You can see one here on my EM-1 Mark II. The EM-1 Mark II, my camera of the year for 2016 for a million and one, a million and one reasons. Um, but you can see one of the straps, which looks like the old artist, artisan and artist, artisan and art, ah, artist and artisan, artisan and artist. I haven't used any of their gear in such a long time because the last time I had an artisan and artist strap, the silk strap, it frayed so badly within one week, I gave up on their straps. But this strap comes in multiple colors. It's kind of like a rep, it looks like that strap, but they are beautiful and so far, no strays. Uh, the strap has been solid. But I received all these straps here from Tie Her Up in all of their different models. And I gotta tell you, I get a lot of straps sent to me. I'd say out of all the straps sent to me for review by random people, individuals, companies, um, I really review about half of them. The other half, they're just copies of every other strap on the market. I set them aside or I send them back and say, I'm sorry, I really am not a fan of this strap. Uh, but tie her up, they offer so many options. And the quality, like I said, is absolutely beautiful. As I talk here, I will overlay some shots of the straps and the names and the colors so you can see what they look like. Um, but when I received these, I opened them up and I was really impressed with the little bags they come in because I always think packaging adds a nice touch when you're selling a camera accessory or to be honest, any, anything you sell. If you package it nicely, I mean, look at Apple, how, how they basically, in my opinion, change the whole electronic market. There's so many people these days that copy Apple's, you know, method of packaging and really cool designs. But anyway, off of that, before I get on to another tangent, these straps, tie her up, camera bondage. This one is the classic strap. I'm just going to kind of go over them and take them out and show you what they're like. This one is the classic 125 centimeter. Now I like them across the body. So when they sent these for review, I requested all longer 125 centimeter straps. This one is in the cigar brown color and it's a classic brown that many of you will probably prefer. Now, say you shoot a Leica M, for example, and you want a minimalist strap this right here is a minimalist strap. It's fine leather, handmade. You have your little lugs at the end to strap it onto your camera. And this is, you know, I've seen many people make straps that look just like this. Here you have the tire up logo stamped in. But uh, this is a very quality soft leather, which I like. So over time, as you wear this strap, it will break in even more and it will feel soft and comfortable. I'm just gonna pick these at random to see what we have. This one is the Combolo, Combolo, Combolo. Now forgive me if I'm not pronouncing these correctly, Combolo. This is a wrist strap in red. So the wrist straps, as you can see here, are adjustable with a leather attachment here. This goes onto your camera and you can wear these around your wrist. Now a lot of people prefer wrist straps to the actual camera straps because you just carry your camera with you everywhere you go and it's not going to fall off. Um, 
when you're carrying it because it's around your wrist. So that's a cool little design for a wrist strap. I really like that design. Now I've tried other wrist straps in the past. There's some popular ones out there that I didn't really care for because they dug into my wrist. My wrist is small, kind of bony. These are very comfortable with the material that they used here. So let's go on to the next one. This is my favorite strap by the company, the Rock and Roll Strap. This is in Cigar Brown, once again, which says Special Edition on the bag. And they come to you like this with the little tie her up cardboard uh, logo to show you that you've got an authentic tie her up rock and roll strap. Now, I don't know about you, but I grew up listening to rock and roll. So any strap that's called rock and roll, I think I'm going to dig it. Here I am again using that terminology from the 70s and 80s. I can dig it. But this is the tie her up rock and roll strap. And it's that fine braided leather. Now this one is set up for your traditional camera. And again, this is the, it should be, the 125 centimeter length. So this kind you can strap across your body. In a minute, I'll wear the cameras and show you what they look like and how they fit. Um, but again, this is the same strap here that I have on the Leica SL. And I love this strap. Um, hands down beats the strap that comes with the Leica SL. Even though the one that comes with the SL is comfortable, I just like that look, that vintage braided leather strap. Now you guys know, anybody who's followed me for a long time, you know that I love braided leather straps. And I used to really, you know, push the, uh, the Barton straps. I believe it was the Barton straps, the braided leather uh, straps. And I had a couple of those break on me after a year of use, so I ditched those. And these look to be built to a super high standard. I mean, they're really, really thick and quality here. There's nothing here that's lacking in quality. These do not appear to be any kind of a cheap knockoff. This is solid quality leather. And for straps, um, they don't really get much better in construction than what I'm seeing with this rock and roll strap. I haven't seen any come my way over the last eight years that I can say, oh, that strap is better than this one. So this strap right here is my favorite. So I'm gonna put this one on my SL, and I've been testing this guy on my Olympus just to see which one I like better. Now the Olympus, I'll probably keep one of these or go with the Classic. Um, because it's kind of a smaller camera. With a Leica M, I would go with one of these, or the Classic. I mean, you can go with one of these, some people do, but the M is kind of smaller and lighter. So let's see what else we have here. The Snake. That's what this one is called, the Snake. Now, I, I don't like snakes. I used to have a snake, and uh, it was a ball python, which are supposed to be tame. And as he grew, he like demanded bigger and bigger food and I would have to feed him mice, and I would feed him the frozen mice after they thawed out, and it was kind of gross, and then one day he attacked my finger, and I said, nope, I don't like snakes anymore. But the snake strap is actually really nice. Now, I reviewed a strap um, a couple years ago, three years ago maybe, the street strap, and this reminds me a lot of the street strap. Now, people are gonna say, well, what's better, the street strap or this snake tie her up strap. They're very similar. Uh, I don't have a street strap on hand, but going by memory, and uh, I'll be honest here, this strap feels like it's made a little better. It doesn't feel like this material will, will fray on you. Um, it seems really strong, but a little stretchy at the same time. So that means when you wear it, it's going to be comfortable around your shoulder. So that's the tie her up snake in black and 125 centimeters. What else do we have? Here's the gray snake. Now I'm not gonna open up all of these, but I'll show you what they look like. That's the snake in gray. I'm telling you, I feel like Christmas. That's why I brought out the Christmas uh, decorations here. Oh, here's one, the Nevada. So it looks a lot like this classic, but it's got a texture to it. Let me open this guy up. And it's more of a rough finished leather, like more of a natural which makes sense that they called it Nevada because when I think of Nevada, I think of going driving through the desert of Nevada. 
where everything's rough and brown and you know that's what this is like you have a rough but at the same time just like the classic it's a little pliable a little stretchy not much but it's natural high-grade leather and it's soft it's not that hard nasty leather when I get a strap sent to me and it uses that hard shiny leather that looks like plastic and it's so uncomfortable it digs into your shoulder I either send it right back or I give it away to somebody or I tell the company if you don't want me to send the strap back can I do a giveaway or give it to a friend I don't like it um, I don't like those straps um, and that's why those of you who have been with me for the years know that I don't review items that I don't like so there's reasons like if you see a camera or lens that I don't review it's not this that I'm being lazy it's that I've tried it and I just don't like it why waste my time weeks days writing a review staying up till three in the morning writing to write negative things I don't like to do that um, negativity I keep out of my life at all costs I stay away from negative people I stay away from negative situations and I'm a positive guy I love life I love everybody I'm kind to all but if a product comes along I don't like I don't want to waste a week or two of my time thinking negative thoughts so I pass on it this is the looks like a rock and roll in black so a lot of you will say I want to rock and roll but I want it in black this is the black rock and roll now this is set up for the Leica SL this is the strap system for the SL and as you can see you weave it in to the uh, throughout itself and it will never fall off so with this strap on the SL I can guarantee you unless someone comes up with a pair of high-grade shears to cut it they're not gonna steal this camera from you so I like the rock and roll strap I love it actually um, it probably takes over as my favorite camera strap of all time the rock and roll strap um, here's another wrist strap in gray a lot of people don't like this bright red which more looks like a hot pink so I don't know if I should wear this one on my EM one but I do like red and offbeat colors um, some people like to stay with black or gray so it's a very attractive strap there we have more this is Royal Red Classic now this is a sharp looking uh, strap you know when you think of royalty and you envision royalty the color red always pops up doesn't it at least for me it does so let's take a look at the red uh oh somebody's at my front door you know what I have let me let me take a break here I have on my front door one of those ring doorbells and they're amazing when somebody walks up to my door whether it's a delivery man somebody trying to sell something my dogs are crying they know somebody's at the door I can see on my phone who's at my door and I can say nope no thank you no soliciting or whatever or can you leave the package or if it's a bad guy I can call the police so highly recommend the ring doorbell um, I've had it for a long time now since they've come out and it's been amazing so back to the Royal Red Classic another the soft material the workmanship is impeccable you can see the stitching here is fantastic there's no crookedness there's no cheap sloppy work and the color is really nice that's another one I, I might put this on my Leica MD this is a perfect fit for that right there oh man we still have more what is this guy rock and roll in cognac cognac I can never say that yeah I'm kinda weird cognac color tie her up rock and roll for standard cameras this is a nice tannish kind of brown that some of you may prefer and holy schmoles I have another rock and roll black is black I thought the other one was black is this a deeper black oh this is a black for regular the other one was for my SL so I could take this one and throw it on my EM1 Mark II or my Sony a7R2 which by the way I'm filming this with a Sony a7R2 almost all of my videos in life are recorded either on an a7R2 or my GoPro which is right here recording that second camera angle um, and sometimes I'll use the Pen F but that audio on that is dodgy the mics in the a7R2 are fantastic and they pick up my voice loud and clear uh, but let's get back to the tie her up straps these are awesome straps people um, actually amazing amazing straps uh, for the money now these all vary in price 
But, I, but when I went to the website, which I'll put a link in the description below, um, I was surprised at the affordability of these. Sometimes companies are like, they'll send me a strap and they know that I review high-end cameras, Leica, the high-end Sony's, etc. This EM1 Mark II that comes in at two grand. And they're like, ooh, we'll make a strap and we'll charge like $400 for it because Steve Huff will review it and people will buy it. Well, that's not the case. That's why you'll never see me review a $400 strap. But these straps right here, I'm gonna tell you to go to the website. The link is in the description below. Tie her up straps. And take a look at the prices. You'll be very surprised at how affordable they are. Um, and there's actually not much more I can say about it. I wanted to show you guys this big Christmas haul of straps and goodies. And I uh, want to say that I'm very impressed. My favorite is the rock and roll, but these snakes are also beautiful if you like that minimalistic approach. They have many more colors to choose from. The classic's going to go on my Leica M, probably in this royal red, so I can walk around and say I'm royalty because I have a royal red. In all seriousness, I'm going to say this. I've been doing this for eight years now. These reviews at stevehuffphoto.com. Uh, I've been on YouTube for a while, though I don't do a ton of videos. I don't really worry about getting my numbers up on YouTube. I review something here when I like it and when I'm enthused about it. But these are the best straps to date that I've used. And I've used some high-end straps. I've used some low-end straps. I've used knockoffs. And I've shied away from artisan and artist because of the problem I had with their silk strap. They're, they cost a fortune and after a week of use it started fraying. I'm gonna see if I can find it actually but I might have given it away. Uh, if I do I'll, I'll post that later on somewhere to show you um, that it just kinda got shoddy after a week and I couldn't even wear it. Um, so these are highly recommended. I've been walking around with this guy and this guy and they're comfortable they're very high quality without breaking the bank. There's not much more I can say. Go check out Tie Her Up Straps, and I think you'll be happy that you did. Thanks all for watching. This is Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com. Go to stevehuffphoto.com every day for something new, whether it's reviews, guest posts, daily inspirations, quick shots, all kinds of stuff going on there. And the site is running faster than it ever has. Uh, I made some changes to it because it was running dog slow and I had some issues with comments disappearing. All that's been fixed, so go check it out and there's all kinds of stuff there. If you go to the site index, there's literally thousands and thousands of articles posted ever since that site began. So enjoy. I thank you all. Have happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Here's to an amazing 2017 and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.